a mortal born of woman is of few days and full of turmoil. Like a flower he comes up and withers, like a shadow he flees and does not stay. Do you fix your eyes on such a one and bring me for judgment with you? Who can make something pure out of impure? No one. Since his days are determined, the number of his months is with you. You have set his limits, which he cannot exceed. Look away from him and let him alone until he fulfills his time like a hired laborer. At least there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, it will sprout again, and its shoots will not cease. Though its roots grow old in the earth and its stump dies in the dry ground, at the scent of water it will bud and sprout sprigs like a new plant. But man dies and is powerless. Man expires and where is he? As water evaporates from the sea and a river drains away and dries up, so a person lies down and does not rise until the heavens are no more. People will not awake or be roused from their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol and conceal me until your wrath has passed. Oh, that you would set a time for me and then remember me. If a man dies, will he live again? All the days of my hard labor, I will wait until my relief comes. You will call and I, I will answer you. You will long for the work of your hands. For then you will number my steps. You will not keep track of my sin. My transgression will be sealed in a bundle and cover over my iniquity. Yet as a mountain falls away and crumbles and a rock is moved from its place, as water wears away stones and torrents wash away the soil, so you destroy a person's hope. You overpower him once for all and he perishes. You change his appearance and send him away. If his sons achieve honor, he does not know it. If they are brought low, he does not perceive it. He only feels pain for his own flesh and mourns for his own soul.